What's up everybody, it's your boy Ziggy. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can get Ziggy with it. Now today I'm fixing to make some good old beef stew and that requires that I'm gonna have to clean up my work area here. This is where I charge all my batteries and stuff. And I did manage to find this old tripod here, but it's not a very good one. And the uh, post here has rusted, so I can't get the camera on it very securely. And also it twists for some reason. I guess whatever nut they have in the back of it must have come loose. So it just spins. And oh, while I got this this is the case for my helmet cam which was damaged uh, when I crashed and here's the damaged part it's the uh, GoPro mount kind of crazy that is the plastic part that broke instead of pulling off the glued up part but yeah you can see it here the glue held fine but the plastic broke now also my helmet cam is the camera that I use with the microphone microphone jack but that got ripped out during the crash so I don't know if it's even gonna work anymore but we'll try the sound you're getting right now is from the microphone that's located right under the lens of this camera which is a Canon HFM 30 and I mean the sound quality is okay but it comes out a lot better using the microphone with my helmet cam but I also have to cut that back by about half so that it's not all distorted and really loud okay so time to start cleaning microphone I'm gonna be using it's the one that's recommended by Sony for my helmet cam but the connection is 90 degrees so it goes in like so which means I can't use it with the protective case so that's why I had to get a different mic for my helmet but this one works really good and I'll give you an example because right now this is the Canon camera which is just using the microphones that's way over there on the lens and we're gonna switch to the Sony microphone right now now it's time to prep the food and my boy bull got all bent out of shape watching me chop up all my vegetables and stuff in previous videos so I'm gonna try a new technique now but first I have to do something with my hair <sighs> I mean seriously these techniques work for the other guys why can't they work for me oh Zig, zig, zigify, zig, zig, zigify, zig, zig, zigify, zig, zig, zigify. All right, it has barely come to a light boil, so I turned down the temperature, and now it will simmer for two hours. So to prepare for uh, refrigeration, I separated everything and found that basically we have pretty much half liquid and half solids. So I'll put them into these containers here and also into plastic bags for freezing. I don't have one of those vacuum sealer jobbies but that could be in the future if this works out well. Dang it, I thought I had bigger bags than this. I 
All right, so ended up with six bags to go in the freezer, five additional meals here to go in the fridge, plus two meals already eaten. So that's 13 meals, and I actually have a lot of juice left over. So I guess I could have made my meals a lot more watery. But jeez, look at this cleanup I need to do. So now, was the beef stew any good? Not really. Way too much roux and not enough seasoning. And I called Reggie's again. They told me to call next month. It's just the beginning of February. They told me to call in March. So I've got like a full month at least before I can get some correct seasoning. Okay, so uh, I also lied about how many servings because when I went to get my first serving a couple hours later, turns out there was hardly any juice because of the way I had packed it in. So I unpacked everything and instead of putting a scoop and a half of the solids into a, a, a container or I uh, went with one scoop and one scoop of juice and that worked great and that also gave me about six more servings so that's I forgot how many so anyhow uh, yeah you can get that many servings but now I'm gonna have to calculate I forgot about calculating the costs okay be right back <coughs> Okay, so unsalted beef stock at $2.28 each, two of them. Oh, got to turn it on before it'll calculate. Okay, 2.28 times two plus, that's $4.56. Three pounds of potatoes, $1.98. Three pounds of onions. $1.98. Celery, $98. Parsley, $4.19. But I hardly used any of it, so I'm just going to leave that off. Roux was $2.97. And the chuck was $6.56 and $6.47. Okay, so that's a total of $25.50. I'm trying to think if I used anything else. Oh, I didn't see the carrots. Where's the carrots? There's the carrots. That's $1.98 also. Onion, potato, carrots. And I had the two cans of green beans. So let's just call that $2. Great. Somehow I erased it, and I'm at three dollars and ninety-eight cents. Oh, but that was twenty-five fifty before I started with that. Okay, twenty-five fifty. Okay. So if I'm correct, we're at twenty-nine forty-eight. Okay, and if we divide that by, I think I had ended up with something like sixteen meals. That's a dollar eighty-four per meal. So I mean, uh, again, uh, uh, I didn't check the price of a can. I mean, I did not do better than the can Denty Moore beef stew. Definitely not. Uh, but that's my fault. So if the price of a can of Denty Moore is like a dollar eighty-four or better, you're better off just getting a can of beef stew instead of following my mistakes. Also, my portion sizes may be quite different from yours. After all, it takes a lot of food to maintain this physique. Okay, well thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. I, I really do. I enjoy sharing with you. So, be sure to watch out for my next video. And 
I'll see you soon.